and we're live. Hooray. <laughs> I'm happy for about yeah. 10 minutes. I've just done a really long hand for no reason. Good <laughs> morning, everybody. Good morning, Lexilicious. Hello. How the devil are you? I've been to three car boot sales today. Three. To one car boot sale today, and I'm trying to pluck up the energy to go to another this afternoon. I think you I should. should. I think I should, but whether I will or not is another matter. Yeah, true. But yeah. Shall I, I send some hellos? Some people got here a long time ago. I've had a message as well from Bad Wolf saying, what the fuck, what time to call this? Rude. Told her it's all your fault. She's such a troll. It is my fault, though. <laughs> it is my fault. Claire Borden was in at 5 to 10, but she said her car boot opens at 10, so she's pop along later. Okay, so Claire Kang almost won, but she's not really here, so... Hmm. Um, Antoinette Daly, Nia, Kaz's Collection, Jewelry Sells in, Deb Hughes is in, Hi Deb, Jason Entwistle, Laura Eccleston, Siebel, um, Rebecca Turner, Lee, Karen Booth, uh, Stalls in, Hi Stalls, says Happy Sunday, Happy Sunday to you too, Kay Gilson, Sarah Price, Stalls says I'm taking bets on Carla's Hall, odds on for there being a mug, a tin and a comforter. You'll never be that predictable, Carla. Surely. I'll never be that predictable. Silly, silly man. I, know. Uh, like saying, I bet you've bought jewellery. Uh, Daily Jesse's in. Long time no see, Jesse. Uh, oh, still taking longer odds on curtain rings and printing ink. <laughs> Catherine Owens there says, Hi, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely day. Jackie Fun Stuff's in. Um, Hannah W. RS Harris, that's Rebecca again, isn't it? Oh, it's gone off in my hand. Bear with. Let's go back up. Oh, Lord, it's gone off miles in my hand. Bear with. Bearing with. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Good Lord, where are you all? I'm here. We got as far as Jackie Fun stuff, didn't we? And then I think we said, um, Joy, oh, Joy Dickinson. Still says, Carl, I'll have a workout for a send loads of chats. And I am indeed. Claire Cairns says, here, miss. Hi, Claire. Claire Count. We'll, we'll call her Claire Count once. It's Claire Borden swanned off again. Claire James, Claire Count mm -hmm. two. Shirley Boland. All right, breath already. Uh, Shiv's in. Hi, Shiv. Dorothy Clark says, I'm in. Yippee. Nearly missed it as my husband's just been stung by the wasp or some flying thing. I had to do my nursey bit. Nice bit of nurse in there. Wow. Hope he's okay. Gem Gem's in. Joan. Gillian. Got it's all the J's. Lolly Frads. Lisa J. Lisa Count 1. Longwell Hazel's in. Mike Dando. Bumblebee. Shazad. Hi, Shazad. Kath Palmer's in. Hi, Kath. Cheryl Cunningham. Tracy's den. Kenton Kettletee. Good God. Try and say that when you're drunk. Um, Mark says, Mark's is looking sunny this afternoon. I should go to Mark's Bree. Lolly Frad says, nice top. Thank you, Lolly. Uh, Julie Garrett. Lisa Fenn. It's uh, uh, Lisa Count 2. She's Hello. always flipping Mandy's in. Hi, Mandy. Janine Powell. Hello. Anne Baker. Sue Bad Wolf says, hey, I didn't say what the fuck. I was polite when I blamed Lex for keeping us waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Scooby Shaggy, Crispy, hi Crispy, Laurel D, Jackie Egerton, Jane Boothby. Oh my god, I've lost it again. It's gone off again. Oh my life. How many people are in? Hundreds of people. Nelly Q oh, Smile man. UK, Claire Plant, Claire Count Three, Dawn Cherie Paul, Gem Gem. I think I've said you already. I'm going to say you again. Gina May. Um, it's Claire Plant's guessing a Harry Potter DVD. Christine Eigen's in. And Pennycott, Deb Stevens is there. Hi, Deb Stevens. She's evening. I presume she's been on a night shift. Steph Hughes, Nadine Colkman. Mike Dando, Jason Entwistle. I think I'm sure I'm sure I said Jason. Lisa says mug, Harry Potter DVD, comforter, didn't she do well? <laughs> Tina, <laughs> uh JDS MR says I am still in bed. That's not JD, that's not Josh with a new name, is it? JDS SMR. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Josh doing SMR. <laughs> Steve, some bloke called Steve's in there, Steve Green. Jody Gem, Sandra Temple, Kimberly Byrne, Flipping Pains, Ms. Q. Oh, Tasty Ebay says, am I late? No, I'm still doing the hellos, love you. All right. <laughs> Jesse says, oh, it's more an afternoon one shows how much I know. Starts at one o'clock for buyers, Jesse. And Fandria says, don't jiggle about too much. I woke up with vertigo, so head spin, and I'm not likely to jiggle very much. Dave Repair says, I forgot him. I never forget you, Dave. Liz Vickers says, thought of me as in very sunny Mara is not jealous at all. And Abitoria 33. Good morning, everybody. Hooray! Hi! <laughs> How's your day been? Really good. I've spent £48, which is a bit of a record for me. Uh, well, not quite a record, but I, I'm definitely like, I, I've done all right. Done all right. 
Well done. I spent seven pounds seventy. That's how poor mine was. Really. Uh, yeah. Laney's wife. Hi, Laney. And JD Network reselling under his real name. So two cracks, please. <laughs> the cracks. Absolutely. <laughs> So yeah, I spent seven pounds seventy. So it looks like your haul's going to take longer than mine. Well, I'm going to put my haul on my hand. All of it. Have you spent forty eight pound on one handful of stuff? No, not quite. I have got a few bags of stuff, but I've got. I bought a lot of silver rings today. Yeah, a lot. So... Wumac says, "Hey, my first live. Hello, hi, Wumac. Josh, do you fancy going to Marksby this afternoon?" Oh, 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 that looks heavy. That looks like if I would not take you on in a fight if you turned up wearing that. Two, three, four, five, six. Right, nine silver rings, and then I don't know what these are, but they're nice stacking pair. And that looks quite handsome. But That's I don't have white gold, eh? Oh, God, that would be nice. I don't think they are anything. I think they're just sterling silver, but they're nice. And, yeah, lots of nice bits with nice stones in and stuff. Look at that Jones one. She's gone back to teaching full-time and scheduling listings are saving the eBay business. Yeah. And then this one is Mexican silver mm -hmm. by um, a designer called Dominique something. And that should be 30 quid on its own. Nice. So I spent 30 quid on jewellery, and there's my money that back. That pays for the lot. Josh, I'm considering going because Easter Compton was rubbish, and it's a nice day, and Mark's bill will probably be nice, and I'm considering going. What do you think? I think you should go. Hmm. Right, Lainey says, Carla, say bear. Now, the reason bear. Lainey wants me to say bear is apparently during Lainey's Live last night, there was a conversation about how I say bear. I'd like to say that I actually do say bear. The only time I don't say Bear is when I'm talking about Kai's stripy teddies from Ikea, bear. and they are called Burr. Burr. And it's I, I do know how to say bear. Apparently, during Lainey's chat, they were discussing the fact that I can't say, I can't say bear. I can say bear, but those are called Burr. They're Kai's Burrs. Burrs. Burr. <laughs> burr rhymes with grr. Yes, they're, they're Kai's Burrs. And, and that, that's a specific thing. I, I, the rest of the time, I'm quite capable of saying bear. <laughs> A massive yeah. fly in here again. Why is there always a fucking massive fly in this room? It's a it's his room. I'm starting to think this room actually belongs to this fly, and I'm just I'm the intruder. Yeah, he's probably buzzing around you going, get out. Get yeah, out. Off. You're joining my room again. <laughs> Deb Stevens says, Why are you going to Mark's? Um, I'm thinking of going to Mark's Bury, Debs, because there's a car boot there. Not just not just to go and look at the village. There's a car boot oh, there on Sunday afternoon. A lovely little silver cameo. Oh, nice. Isn't she pretty? That's nice. And then two random assortments of things. I don't know what's in them. How exciting. Exciting. So you haven't, you haven't been through them at all? No, not really. I've had a, like, a quick little look, and I can see um, a pair of silver clip-on earrings and stuff. But... Yeah, I think I paid two pound fifty for that, and then a pound, no, two pound for that, and I spent two pound on this because, like, I reckon I can fix that. It's got a bit missing, but oh, I that's reckon pretty. I, I like that. And then also because of this tiny little like carousel horse. <gasps> hey. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? And then there's other little like bits and pendants, another pair of silver earrings in there, and little bits and bobs. So, cuteness, cuteness, and um, a little kitty cat. Oh, that's low. I like that. No mm -hmm. trench lane this year, Lisa. As far as I can tell, they're just not going to bother. The last comment on their Facebook page was then telling people to stop asking when we're opening. <laughs> okay. Uh, woo oh, sorry, sorry, Jesse. I've, I've clicked on you wrong, but there we go. Woo, Matt wants to know, where's the blue hair gone? Oh, that's been gone for a while, isn't it? We go through all different colours here. Know. Yeah, it's been gone for about six months now, I think. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. All the colours of the rainbow. Do you want to see um, something that I bought that I know you will love? And you'll be like, oh, Lex, actually, can I buy that off you at full, you know, it's eBay? It's ugly as fuck, isn't it? 
spent fiver on it. That's that's fairly unpleasant, isn't it? 1960s Dutch wool. Yeah, it should have stayed in the 60s. Yeah, it's amazing. Stall <laughs> rubbing its knees now. You guarantee Stall is sitting, and Tasty eBay, sitting there at home now going, Ugh. Yeah, yeah, Both I know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Wu's been watching your old vlogs apparently yesterday. That's why I was expecting blue hair. Uh, I don't know if he's male or female because it's a picture of a sunset. Which, as we know, sunsets are gender neutral. So, yes, yes, it does smell of Dutch. It smells of those weird chips with uh, mayonnaise on it and and, uh, weed and cheese. And weed and cheese. Yeah. Oh, my mum and my sister are back. My sisters have taken my mum to buy yet another tree, and my sisters there going, oh, "Why does she need another tree?" <laughs> so, Dave says this stream is sponsored by that petrol station. <laughs> Brought to you today by Texaco. <laughs> it's funk, me. The amount of advertising they get. Laney says the blanket looks like it's from a Camp Western. You should cut a hole in the top and have it as a Mexican poncho. Yes, and, and grow a moustache. Another a slightly bigger one than the normal one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my Morning, Here we Morning. go. Here we are. And my there was a book at the car boot sale this morning, and it was Gardening for Beginners. Uh, and I nearly bought it for Mummy to see if she to see if she'd take it well. <laughs> cross through it and go. No, nope, you don't no, do that. Wrong, wrong. <laughs> Hello, this is my sister. Hello. Hi. Okay. I'm a, I'm partnering crime today. Yeah, she's been uh, ferrying me around all the booties. She's very yeah. Apparently, she doesn't need to drive because other people can do that for her. Well, she needs to get a grip and learn. <laughs> <laughs> I just sit here stirring no. the pot. No, no, yes. no. In that case, you're walking there. It's called Hobson's Choice. Fight, 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 fight. I'd win. So don't. True, she would. She's hard, man. Did you two fight when you were kids? No. No, actually. We have a brother. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's damaged. Damaged. <laughs> broken. Dave oh. says, oh, my God, there's another Lex. We don't look that similar, do we? Kate looks like mum. I look like my dad, and our brother looks like his dad. So we all look completely different, and we've all got different surnames as well. Mum's a Claxton, she's a Jones. My brother's a Stevenson, and I'm an Oliver. It's like we're not born even related, <laughs> and all yeah, and all born in different countries. Dave says, "Which sister would win in an arm wrestle?" Kate. Yeah. And Jackie's pointing out that if you put the rings back on, you'll uh, be much, in it much more. I still, I still wouldn't stand a chance. She's <laughs> hard as nails. She lives in Barry. Ooh. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, she's well hard. Oh, yeah. Woomack is, Woomack is, is, is um, female. It's Julie. The sunset is from their, from a cruise holiday. <laughs> and Steve says, of course, there's a Jones. Of course, there's a Jones. This is Wales, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Cassie. So what else did you get apart from your, your fist full of jewellery? Um, I got a tricky blanket. For a pound of vintage Christmas upside down upside down tray. <laughs> it has got a little uh where is it gone? Mark on the side. Yeah, it's got like a little couple of chips to the yeah. marker. But that's a little bit of sharpie. It's a I mean it's West Germany and it's like, you know. What country was I born in? I was born in Wales. My sister was born in England and my brother was born in South Africa. So there. So your sister's actually one of us then? Yeah. 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 Well, so, of us. Well, and and mummy and mummy is as well. My daughter and I have the same midwife. You had the same midwife? Ma same midwife. How? What? Because she was near on retiring. When I had Kate. And she was a junior when my mum had me. Good God. That's weird. Um, uh, silver plate candlestick for 50p. That's a bit naff. Yeah, completely oh. naff. Shine it, eh? Yeah. Oh, what? Bloody that fly. The fly just went straight past me schnoz again. Um, I got these two, which these were uh, 50 pence each. This is Guildcraft Pool, made in England. Ooh. 
What's that? I thought it was going to be somewhere exotic, not Wales. Wales is exotic. Alcab. <laughs> See, so there. Alcab retail bigger than your car. Alcab retail. Alcab retail. Two fields. Alcab retail. How much did you spend today, Kate? Uh, maybe about 20 quid. About 20 quid. Yeah. Um, but our car retail isn't full of the Welsh. Yeah, all right. Neither is ours, really. Yeah, no, that's no. true. <laughs> that's very true. There was loads. Like, Bristolians. Bristol, yeah, loads of Bristolians. Paul Skis. I should have come across. Ours was rubbish. Yes, I went to Sully. Yeah. Um, uh, it's on for the next four weeks. Sully's on for the next four weeks. There you go. And then we went to Bessemer and then we went to Bridgend. So, yeah. It is him. It is him. So, I'm sure it's the same one. I'm starting to think this is his room. Oh, thank you. Mama Tins was born in Wales. See, some of the best people are. Yeah, they're not, they're not all bad. Who did? Oh, um, the lead singer of the Ramones? Was that him? No, born, no who? Motorhead. Motorhead. Lemmy. Lemmy. Lemmy was born in Wales. I did not know that. We were watching Top of the Pops last night. Steve loves all that kind of yeah. trivia. Here we go, see? I know, I like the little horsey. Cute, isn't it? They're now detangling my jewellery for me, so, you know, that's great. Mama Tins isn't in, is she? No. I haven't seen, I haven't her, seen her What did they buy today? Oh, fancy that. Um, oh, yeah, Carla, you haven't shown what you've bought today because there was bets on whether you were going to buy a mug, a comforter, or a tin. And a tin. I think, I think the bets were whether I'd buy all three. And a tin. So what, what have you bought? Well, <laughs> I bought a Martin teapot. Gulliver Designs teapot. Kate, 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 Kate's Hang coming on. round to Hello. Kate's coming round to I am up for you. Uh, that's probably that. That's probably like Sainsbury's copy of um, Emma Ridgewood type thing. No, it's Martin Gulliver Designs. Do oh, I? Go. Martin Gulliver Designs. So. Yeah. Nice because people like all that because it'll go with loads of stuff. The teapot goes for, goes for 17 to 20. So with the milk and sugar, I reckon I'll get 30 to 35. I paid a pound. Jeez. You can't go wrong, can you? You can't go wrong, like I, I love men with China. Men with China is the best. Yeah, husbands. Just go hey, on. Oh, that was actually a, husband and, a young husband and wife. And he said to her, How much do you think? And I thought, Oh, here she goes. And she went, Oh, no quid. And I was like, All right then. Nice. Yeah. I bought. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty much it's in there. oh, yeah, go on there. I bought a six inch Hetty. Oh, a Hetty, okay. 14, 15 quid on that. That was pound. And right. then I bought. People are weird. <laughs> stall. I bought a mug, not for stall, obviously, but you know, for stall's bet. I bought a Disney mug. This is BB-8, apparently. I've never seen a, I've never seen a Star Wars film, but apparently that's BB-8. That was a quid. <laughs> We've got a Dunoon fish mug for 20p. Oh, that sells for 15 to 20 quid. Yeah. Kate, do you like fish? Kate, Kate approves of your purchase. Yeah. You'll like this one. The next, the next lot was all... Fill a bag, except I didn't. I just filled my arms and said, here, Steve, have two quid. <laughs> um, so in my filler back I've got one rather tangled ball of wool for my mother one pack of eternal bow napkins still sealed oh, now do you know what eternal bow as as naff as it is okay if you find anything so don't bother with plates or bowls or anything like that but if you go to napkin rings if you go for like candlestick holders, um, the mugs, the eternal bow mugs, not the cups, the mugs. Yeah, like I that. do all right with eternal bow. Yeah. Um, what else did I tell the other day? And it was eternal bow. And I thought, oh, the big jugs. It's like, you know, the big like the pictures. Yeah. Well, not those ones, those ones, you know. Pictures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, oh, um, gravy boats, they always get broken. The saucer bits, they always get broken. Um, 
Stephen Stephen Sorsic, no, the English sister has a stronger Welsh accent because she lives in Barry. I live in Barry Bados. Barry Bados. Literally, like how many streets down from Gavin and Stacey? Um, I think it's about a five minute walk. And it's got a sign in the window that says, this is Gavin and Stacey's house. Yeah, I've driven past that. I went to drop something off for someone once. I think I'd sold it to him on eBay, and I can't remember why I was delivering it by hand, because I don't normally drive to Barry for deliveries. But I, I think I know what it was. I was going there to do an Anne Summers delivery, and I dropped an eBay thing off, and it turned out to be in the next street. As I drove down, I drove down the street thinking, this looks fucking familiar, and yet I've never been here. And I was like, oh, look, there's Stacey's house. Yeah, you didn't have any bridge to fail on that street. I have you, Fly. I'm telling you now, I'm having you. Yeah. Anything, anything Johnson Brothers. Kill him. Anything Johnson Brothers. Yeah. Out, but it's got to be like not the more normal bog standard cups and saucers and plates. We're asking <laughs> what's your YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel. I should have, didn't I? Yeah. But no. <laughs> I, I, I am just like very um, in China. Yes. It's called an addiction. I can't have that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that that um that was in my bag, and then I got a friend's trivial pursuit, which sells for about seven quid. But if you're chucking it in for two quid, why not? A vintage Tupperware box. This is the one with the sections, and I've sold this. Somebody sold it and called it a tackle box, but it's not a tackle box, I'm sure. But I've sold one. Now, now mum wants to come and check out your Tupperware. Tupperware. Hey, mummy. Yeah. Mummy, remember me selling one of these last year? I'm sure. It's a sandwich box. Yeah. So yeah. somebody listed one and called it a tackle box. It, I was like, it, could be, it could be a medical box or a tackle box. Well, like do. a first aid box kind of thing. Yeah, but yeah. funny. And then people wouldn't pay for it. Let them pay for it. And they can call it whatever they want. Yes, we sold it. And then this is right up your alley. Right up your alley, this one, because it's bloody horrible. She knows me. Um, yeah, that is horrible. Hello. Oh, yeah. Sandwich box. Vintage Mellowware. The only issue oh, is... Mellowware. There's no vintage. blue. Vintage. Yeah, no blue cup. So I've asked Steve to keep a lookout. For... I've sold Mellowware before. In yeah, fact, I've sold a very sold similar set. Stuff. Yeah. 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 And, and if you get the pastely stuff, they love that. Do you know, no, do you know what, right? Steve just said, Lex seems so innocent and quiet around her family. It's because Kate is so bloody loud. No I'm one else can have it. No. What you've got to do is you've got a camper van. Yes. Camper van. They, they rebase, they know this. Yes, but if you put camper van in, it goes like that. Yeah, yeah and like I said, sadly, the blue cup is missing, but apart from that, and then what I, what I might do is just take out the blue plate and saucer and sell the rest of the set of three which is weird but just a know. nice consistency talk about crack you want me to talk about crack in front of my sister yeah we know she's on it but she won't share i'll share my crack if you like <laughs> you're not allowed it mum's allowed it Okay, now I can't get this bloody thing open. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is the key broken? I'll show Mama's tins while you're undoing your key. Yeah. Here we go, Mama Tins. I got you. If you can't, obviously. Elaine. Elaine. Oh, that's nice. That's hideous. Is it musical? I don't think it is musical, which is a shame because Deb loves it when I get her the musical ones. <laughs> But it's not, sadly. Kate doesn't have a YouTube channel. Apparently there's 203 people watching. Hello, 203 people. Lovely to see you all. Only we can't. Lovely to see you all seeing us. That's weird. Lovely that you're there. And then that one, which is a Churchill's Clematis tin. Oh, look, there's not. Clematis. Hi, Nat. Hi. And a flower fairies tin. Open when you You've just come in. Yeah. Yeah. Just a foot in the 
Like well, I bought a typewriter and it's locked, and now we can't unlock it. So that's great. Take a hammer to it. Right, WD forty. WD forty fixes everything. Ratty Sad says I've got two Denby sets, but I can't sell them. Has no idea how to send without smashing. New to eBay. Package it, package it, and package it some more. Don't listen to Lex. Oh, he is about to say box. throw it in a mailing bag. Yeah, I've got packing peanuts yeah. for you in the garage. Lots of bubble wrap. Boxes in boxes in boxes. Yeah. Yep. And don't send it by Hermes and don't put a fragile tape all around it. Yeah, fra fragile tape makes them, um, gives them something to aim for. So don't yeah. do that. Target. And um, if I'm sending breakables i tend and uh, large expensive breakables I tend to send them by ups because they do a 24-hour service that's really quite cheap and i feel that less time that it's in transit the better yeah. i might be taking a hammer to that mm. yeah i might do that double karma yeah Try another key. oh well um i got another thing that you really like carla oh here we go Hideous vintage Christmas decorations. They are vile. Vile. Oh. Uh, little birdie in a choo choo chain. And they the, can uh, have it. them around with a, with a very older. Mm. Oh, but what? Oh, says 203 watching and only 19 likes and one thumbs down. We will get loads of thumbs down, Abitori. They bloody hate us. I don't yeah. know why they watch. I'm sure somebody dra drags them in and forces them to watch. No, but it's it's me, right? Whenever I'm on Carla's channel, it's because I say fucking bugger and stuff like that. that I um, say fucking bugger and stuff like that. Oh, maybe I How say, I say fucking bugger more when you're here. Yes, I think that is. I am a bad influence. That's good. Maybe. I'm so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I am though. I think that is everything I bought. Yeah. Which actually now for forty-eight pounds doesn't look. Oh, sorry. Right, no. Yeah. Oh, more... Where are those thumbs going? Oh, I do have to... Why did I start doing this double thumb up thing? I don't like it. Make me stop. I look. A, I look like a more. I think you. I think you did it. I think you've given me that. Take it back. Oh, oh that's horrible. Revolving. It's a revolving serving tree for oh. you. It's the epitome of poor taste. Unless you can turn up the speed and I. Wait, wait. French fancies on. Yes, exactly. Yeah, French fancies, See? definitely. Yeah, it also makes a festive holiday centerpiece. Like I said, I want to know if you can accelerate it and then you could lie down with your face on the table while it flung snacks in. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and then this I spent a pound on and it's a finished flower press set. I nearly bought a flower press this morning, but it was plastic and shitty, so I didn't. Uh, it's nice. It's a wooden one, but it's got plastic screws rather than the metal screws. I would have preferred the metal screws, but it's nice. It's nice, and it's got you know, 1973. Excellent year. So there we go. It was a strong, strong year, 1973. A lot of good things came out in 73. Everything good was was made in 1973. My sister will argue. Yeah. 71? Yeah. yeah. No, 73 was an excellent year. Okay. Early, and, what to say and, early and, 70s? And Alex still thinks she's a millennial. She's not. Shut <laughs> up. And a Gen X. Or something. I don't know. You realise everybody in the chat is going, who's Alex? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's also a good yeah, point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. sorry. 203 people going, who's Alex? <laughs> <laughs> That is me. Oh, Green yeah, says, that's... Are cakes, cakes or biscuits? They are cakes because there is no snap. And they are cakes because um, because there's no tax on cake. So that's why. That's why they made sure that they were cake is because um, yeah. there's no tax on them. And because when they're stale, biscuits go soggy and kale cakes go stale and Jaffa cakes like go tough hard when they're stale. So it is a cake. 
Good. Have you been out arguing about which the best year was? Oh, it's normally what a bread roll is called. Like, is it baps? Is it balm cakes? Is it all of this stuff? It's a bread roll. It's a bread roll. They're called no moons in this house. Full moon. Hi. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry, man. I'm panelling my, um, Kate hallway. is panelling the hallway today. See, I should have this a YouTube channel does. just doing DIY. You should. You really should. They're very popular. People watch them. You really should. Especially because, right, Steve doesn't do it. Steve will be watching the motor racing this afternoon or yeah. something. Yeah. And it'll be Kate. She's doing the panelling. She's painting the front door. New front door. Yeah. She's a beast. Plastering the ceiling. Plastering yeah. ceilings. Love that. She, she did the bathroom. Like tile the bathroom and stuff. My stunning five hundred pound bathroom. Yeah, it's about like twenty grand. Barm, Josh, with an M on the end. A sausage barn is not a thing. A sausage barn would be a large outdoor structure built out of sausages. It's a barm, and furthermore, it's not. It's a barn. If it's sausages in a bread product in the south, it's a sausage bap. That's it. That's it. This, we're done. We're done here. We are. Done. <laughs> My sister said it's a bread roll. Go off in the chat. <laughs> We've set them off again. I know. But Kate said it's a bread roll, so that's it. <laughs> You're definitely not her type. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, Jane says ketchup, fridge or cupboard? Yes. Don't care. Yeah, either. Doesn't really matter. In yeah. fact, we don't have any, so... Problem solved. I bought skinny barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tastes fine, but it pours like milk. So I went splurge on my plate and it went whoosh. I was like, yes. fuck. It is a bit uh, loose, shall we say. <laughs> Drowned yeah. my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all right, though, isn't it? It's all right. Cracky says sausage barn sounds like a good nightclub name. Where are you going Saturday night down the sausage barn? I'm going down the sausage barn and get me some sausage. <laughs> There's a lot of sausage chat now. Steve says he's everyone's freaking type. Nah, you're not my type. With tiny arms, tiny, tiny arms. Big hands, though. <laughs> so. That's it. We're 32 minutes in. We've met the family. I've shown my tiny haul. You've shown your haul or have you got more? Well, there's there's lots of little bits of jewellery, but you're not interested in that. So I won't. Well, I'll do it. Okay. Well, okay. This was in my little two pound bag. This is a little Austrian bell with some Edelweiss on it. That should go well. Edelweiss, Edelweiss, something or something and something. And so that, that, that should go for about eight quid if it's silver. Small and white. Comes hey, out of night. Something or other. Small and white comes out at night. That's vampire, isn't it? <laughs> da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Turns out I really don't know any of the words. <laughs> no, nobody does. It's true. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's that's my stuff. I've got jewelry. I've got plastic things. I've got Christmas things. I've got a broken typewriter that I can't get into, and a big ugly blanket. Hooray! Forty-eight pounds. Oh, I need to say a couple of things. I think that's really serious. It's nothing like no, that. Right? I, I, don't I need to give Ricky another plug. So I plugged Ricky's channel while we were live on your channel on Friday morning. But there might be different people here now to how there were then. So if you are not already subscribed to Ricky Lee reselling everything, off you go. Click the subscribe button. He's on under 600 subs. He should be on more. Let's get him monetized. That'll be fun. He's as we've discussed on Friday, he's not unpleasant to, to, for viewing. He's, he's, you know, he's... um, He'll do. He'll do, yeah. <laughs> he, and he's a nice bloke. And I do like him. Look at Jessica and Carla likes Ricky. I think he's great. I think he's fab. So, B, 
big plug for Ricky Lee reselling everything. Also, if you're looking for other resellers to follow, Global Thrifters, Brum Reseller. Um, who else have I been enjoying? Oh, um, the other bloke whose name I've temporarily forgotten. Uh, that'll come back. I'll come back to that in a second. Um, so, yeah, pop over if you haven't already subbed and sub to Ricky. And also because he is offering to get his balls out at some point, which that I mean, that's thanks to Joan, I think. I think it was Joan's suggestion that he could get his balls out, wasn't it? Yeah. So, but, um, you know. Claire says, thought you liked aid. I'm not fancying these people. I mean, I'm like aid, obviously, but I've not I've not changed my affections from aid to Ricky. I like watching his channel and I'm just giving his channel a boost. So that's that. OK. And if you can get his, in his nickels in the process, then even better. <laughs> Ifunko Collector says, what's Lex's name on YouTube? Bad Biscuit. Bad underscore biscuit or just Bad Biscuit? I can never remember where the underscores are. Bad Biscuit, all one word. Bad Biscuit, all one word on YouTube. There's underscores if you go over to Insta. Yes. And the and spellers, that means they're moderators, Wumak. Okay. We are well, Ricky, so in fairness, I don't know who's in what area, so you might have done. People are singing Edelweiss. Small Good. and bright, clean and bright, every morning you greet me. Something or other, dee dee dee, bless my homeland forever. So then, Karen wants to be balls. Why not? Boring. Oh, Claire says it's John. The Brummery seller is called John. He um, he doesn't. He, he normally films outwards, you know. But occasionally, when he goes back to his unit, he films his face, and he looks a lot like um, Russell Crowe. I thought. And again, not in a kind of fancy and kind of way, but just you know, when you think he really reminds me of someone. Who is it? It was Russell Crowe. You are definitely a bit hormonal. Sorry. You are definitely a bit hormonal. I'm not, I, honestly, I'm allowed to notice that people look like other people without it being hormonal. <sighs> <laughs> I'll never remember, Anya. That's why you just have to go and look. Chris Tyler's pointing out that I've never prompted Steve's channel. If you're not really, if you haven't got enough resellers to watch and you like watching blokes who play with cuddly toys in the loft, then you need to go and watch the Steve Green Adventure. How's that? Is that a good enough plug? Watch Steve. He's great. Steve's fab. Watch Steve. He's brilliant. He's kind of a big deal on YouTube. Yeah. Hi, Jane. Nice. Mildly offended, actually. Now I'm going to sulk. There's a lot of Janes in today as well. Live ka ching for Nadia ka ching because he doesn't ka ching. Thank you. <laughs> right, and the other thing I wanted to say was that I have got a lot of surplus reselling stock. If anybody's looking for clothing bundles, I have an awful lot of stock that I just am not going to get through at the moment. I picked up my bulk by Saks the other day. There was about twice as much as usual. I'm already overstocked. So if anybody is looking for a clothing bundle, let me know. I will do um, I will do one pound an item and I and and um and, we're, and we're, yeah, just let me know. It's it's you know, it's not shit. It's not shit, but it's bread and butter is what I would say. It's bread and butter stuff and it's all in good condition. It's been checked through. Some of it's new with tags. It's just that I have I am massively oh, yeah. overstocked. I am massively, massively overstocked. So if anybody's looking for clothing bundles, let me know and I will sort you out. Sort you out, innit? I'll sort you out. Chris says, build a shed. That'll get more subs. I'm not building a shed. I'd be very oh, bad no. at shed. There's someone out there that's been building a shed and filming it. I don't know. Oh, is there? I mean, that's nice that under me. I don't know who, I can't remember. I said she thinks John the Brummery seller looks like Stephen Graham, the actor from Liverpool. You may not know the name, but look him up, looks just like him. Hang on then. Um, I work with Stephen Graham on a TV series. So there. Oh, yeah. Yes, I can see that resemblance there as well. Stephen Graham, right? Lovely down to earth cap. Bit of a temper on him. Um, but like, 
when they came down to film, all the other actors were being put up in, you know, four star hotels and stuff like that. Stephen Graham was like, can I, can I have a caravan in Puff Call? <laughs> he wanted to bring his family down. He's like, oh, always wanted to go to Puff Call. So we put him up in the, literally in just like a shitty caravan in Puff Call for a week. Fair play to me if that's what he wants, eh? Yeah. But yeah, those are the two things I want to say. I want to give Ricky's channel another plug. And like I said, Global Fifth as well, they are great. They are Jack and Emily, aren't they? Joe and Emily, Jack and Emily, Joe and Emily. Help me. There's definitely an Emily. They're Gemily. Gemily, yes. They're Gemily, but I can't remember if he's Jack or Joe now. Why the hell is my brain farting like this? Yeah. People in the chat will know. Global yeah. Fifth, they're really, really, really nice. I like them. They're good fun. And I've forgotten the other one again. It just came back to me and went again. Um, we're going to look at my subscriber thing. Laney will know. Laney, Laney um, knows everything. Laney does know a lot of things. Jack and Emily. There we go. Avernus Biker Lifestyle. A V E R N U S. Mm -hmm. Biker Lifestyle. He is a reseller in Yorkshire. <laughs> and I'm saying that because I'm pretty sure he's in Yorkshire because he went across to Lancashire and was joking when he got there with one of the sellers about, you know, come, yeah. So um, it's Avernus Biker Lifestyle. Let me put that, I'll put that in the chat. And I'm enjoying his channel too. Jesse says, I come to this channel for recommendations, not, not to actually watch us. Is um is Mr. Avernus Biker lifestyle um again easy on the eye? Um well I don't know. I guess it depends on your your type. He's called Dave Keefe, and I'm fairly mm. sure fairly sure that, that I've seen him in the chat groups as well. Yeah. Hang on, where, how do I do the share screen thing? Don't ask me. Don't ask me, I only work here. Hang on, here he is, ready? This is, there you go, that's, that's Dave Key for the Runners Biker Lifestyle. You wouldn't kick him out of bed, would you? I might, it would depend on what he was up to at the time, whether he snores, things like that. Oh, look, I've made you small. Not sure what I did there. Come back. Hello. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Yeah. So there we go. And I don't I don't recommend anyone, I'm afraid. Certainly not my channel. I wouldn't watch mine. Rubbish. You can watch Lex if you want, but there's an awful lot of jewelry. If you're not into jewelry, you'll be bored rigid. Yeah, I wouldn't bother, to be honest. i my my chat's stuck, by the way, so if anybody's saying anything exciting, I'm not seeing it now. Because my chat's just frozen. Did this once before, do you remember? Do you care? No, not really. I'm looking. <laughs> Sorry, but you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just replying to a message now about clothing bundles. There we go. Half us down. Right. What pin is that? Two dolphins and a crown. Like. So, sorry, I'm clicking on stuff and can't sort it out now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> right, what was that? Sorry, two what nows? Don't know. King of the Fish. Dolphin King. King. Oh. Dolphin King, the sequel to Tiger King, coming soon on, on Netflix. Could you imagine? That would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Very weird. Oh, Shirley says she loves your channel. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, my seller name on um, eBay is Tizer2001, T-Y-Z-E-R-2001. Tizer2001. Tizer Go buy everything, everything. Buy all of the things. There's many things. Many things. 
no, 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 no. no. Where's best to get me about bundle? Um, Facebook probably or Instagram. You can find me on Instagram. I'm also tyzer two thousand and one there, or on Facebook. I'm me because that's my name, Carla Jenkins. Not just me. That would be weird. I'm here all week. Try the veal. <laughs> In it. Oh, so here's gone live. Damn cheek. Ah. Oh. Okay. In fairness, we're not in our own slot, are we? We've, sh we've oh. shunted along a bit. Royal Navy Submariner Emblem. Thank you very much, Kenton and Kat Lee. Chris Tyler said it as well, just above, look. Oh, thank you. Royal Australian Navy Submarine Service. Ooh. And Antoinette says that's a Navy badge. And Dave said submarine warfare insignia. See, people know stuff. Isn't it yeah. amazing when people know stuff? Not specifically any of you. that I'm not amazed by any of you knowing stuff. But what I mean is you go... People know stuff, and they do. And you're like, whoa, they do. They know stuff. Tracy says, I was just about to say the same. So was I, Tracy. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy the Cincinnati picker as well, Rebecca. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't identify as much with the American resellers. Like we were saying the other day, it's such a different... Well, the fact that they can go... Different ball game there, you know? you know they do dumpster diving and all things that it's just like it's yeah yeah it's not like I, I enjoy watching them but i don't feel the connection like i do with you know with the resellers with us can i just say um hi carla and lex first time joining any live stream says lisa merriman you're in the right place we like lisa's and i mean we like everybody but specifically you are now on team lisa well done you yeah you have to be hard to be on team lisa so you know <laughs> Yeah. We know you do, Josh, but she's not good for you. No. <laughs> got a bird on it. He only buys things with birds on it now, thanks to her. Got a bird on it. <laughs> so I left it. Got a bird on it. So I left it. So I left it. <laughs> I think she said the other day that she's actually having merch, like made with that on. Well, so I left it. Yeah, it's got a bird on it, and so I left it, yeah. <laughs> Lisa says, oh, wow, it worked. Team Lisa. Team Lisa. No, I'm Team Claire. You're Team Claire. I'm Team Lisa. Claire. Yeah. I think there might be more than three Lisas in Lisa. Pretty sure there was another Lisa earlier. I'm def I'm only got a couple of Claires today. So, Oh, Claire Riley's in. Hi, Claire. That, I'm, I might be up to Claire count four now. Yeah, bad wolf, right, um, pushing the Sue crew there. <laughs> Poor yeah. Karin. Karin's just team Karin all our own. There's never going to be another Karin, is there? There I'm is one out there somewhere, I reckon. I reckon. <laughs> but they're just too shy to say hello. <laughs> oh, where's it gone? Sorry, I've lost it. Josh says, I leave everything. She's a good inspiration. <laughs> See, there we go. Perfect. Oh dear. So what are you going to do with the rest of your day, Lex? Eat food. I'm starving. Um, I don't know. That's it. I'm not doing any other work today. I might have a bit of a nap. No. No. <laughs> no. Good <laughs> oh, night, Debs. Karen says she'd rather be a Katie. My sister is actually Katie Jane, but mm. she's being called Katie, so no, I'm Kate. Katie's a bit cutesy, isn't it? I like it. I like it. I like Katie. I think it's cute, but my sister hated it. So. But if, if you don't feel like you are a cutesy person, then you wouldn't feel it fitted you. Oh, my, my sister like, You're not Alexi. You're not Alexi, are you? You're like, no, don't be Lexi. See, it's, it's what, it's what you feel Lexi. fits you. Not Lexi. Lex. Not Alexi. Yeah, yeah it's it's what you feel fits you. Yeah. She suits Kate more than Katie, but I just, I think it's, and she's definitely not cutesy. Yeah. Oh, Lisa Louise has popped in now. All the Lisas are, all the Lisas are popping up now to be, <laughs> to hold their hands up and be counted. <laughs> Josh says he's going to get 10 listings and 20 drafts done today, along with packing 32 sales. So you don't want to come to Marksbury then? Go on, Josh. Go to Marksbury. Go on. I don't know if I want to go. I, I kind of I want to go, but I don't want to go. 
you love it when you get there. And I was track, innit? Yeah, but you know, it'll be worth it. There will be things there, things. Any American viewers are going an hour. I go for an hour to the nearest shop, you know. Yeah, exactly. You go for an hour just to go down the road. So, hmm. thank yourself, lucky you, British person. <laughs> That was my amazing American accent there. It was, it was, um, it, I, it amazed me. I know, right? Big bag of jewellery. Oh, Pete's in. Hi, Peter. You've, you've, come, you've come in at a thrilling moment, Peter, because I've just stopped talking and Lex is sorting jewellery and looking at her stuff, so we're actually not even talking anymore. I know, I'm, I'm literally just zoning out now, just zoning out, oh, things. Cassie said, I bet no one has the same name as one of my sisters. Genevieve. Bloody hell. I'm not even sure I pronounced it right. Gen Genevieve. That sounds like a cake. That sounds like your parents wanted three or four different names and couldn't decide which one. And went for all of them. Josh says he's not really in a booty mood and he's pointing out that I've got millions of clothes in that cupboard to list. La 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 la. He's such a killjoy. He's so old, isn't he? How the hell is he 21 going on 85? How is that possible? You boring old git, Joshua. In it, just. Oh, these are so... And Sue's so, so, so jumping on the bandwagon. No, no, I should not be on a buying band. No, I should not. No, absolutely not. What's wrong with all these people? It's all very well you people talking about buying bands, but when we went through lockdown... I was the one who had a nice backlog to work through. Yeah. 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 Tasty says she'll go with me. I just got to pick her up. Um, where do you live, Tasty? <laughs> Something tells me it's going to be a little bit of a detour. A little bit. Fancy going to Hackney? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a detour. A little bit. Uh, the, the hills are off to Walthamstow to a car boot trail. Is that anywhere Ooh. near Hackney? No. Ooh, from Stowe. Is that near Hackney? Because they could pick her up. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> yeah, see? See, Kenton's saying get it bought before the not before the next lockdown. Deb says she would have come with me if she didn't live so far away. Uh, Anne Marie says let her buy it while she still has chance. Thank you. You people understand me. Exactly. Yeah. Mike says he'd come. <laughs> See, everyone's on your side except the evil people. Yeah. I probably won't go. Aww. Then make sure you actually chill out this afternoon then. Well, if I don't go, I'll have to do some work, won't I? No. Chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to do nothing. And enjoy it. As he says, it's pronounced Genovefa. I did get it wrong then. No, it's, it's the name of a song, apparently. <laughs> Carl said she'd come and wait in the car. Lisa says she'd go, but she's still scared of car boots. Why are you scared of car boots? They don't bite. Generally. Yes, he's, really, he's also scared of car boots. Ah. Um, Josh, I can possibly go next Wednesday, but I've got to wait in for a delivery. If the delivery has been by the time the car boot starts, then I'm then I'm good to rock and roll. But if it hasn't, then I can't. Yeah. Yeah. See, do, 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 Double Karma says, "Do what Dawn Cherie Paul says: go and buy as much as possible now before things go to shite again." I agree. I think that. I'm not quite not reading out what Stall said. <laughs> no. <laughs> Naughty boy. No, I probably won't go out ever again. I mean, I will go out ever again. I probably won't go out this afternoon to the car boots up. I might go and put some washing on the line. That'll be exciting. Oh, can you film it? Well, I filmed it before and it wasn't very exciting the first time, in fairness. True. Ken Petalty says, I hear there's someone at Marksby this afternoon with a massive amount of jewellery. That's mean. <laughs> that is mean because she can't come unless she goes and gets on a train right now. And that ain't happening. 
Nah. -uh. Josh says Carla has about eight hundred items in her death pile. She needs an intervention. I disagree. I disagree that I need an infant intervention, and I don't think I've got eight hundred items in my death pile either. I think I've got about a thousand. I don't know how many I've got, but I wouldn't have thought there's eight hundred. And now about a thousand. Mind, all the clothing is bagged in tens. There's definitely not eighty bags of clothing in there. There's probably not more than 25 bags of clothing in there, so that would be 250. And then there's not a lot of, apart from those bloody stamps, it depends on how you count the stamps and the first aid covers. There, there's a lot of those. But no, I haven't got 800. I've probably got no more than 500 at the most. I've definitely got about 1,000. I've got like 250 brooches. Tomorrow, excuse me, tomorrow is weigh in. Monday's is weigh in. Gonzo G says, How's it going? It's going all right. Thank you. Well, hey, we haven't got anything exciting to say today. What do you mean? We're all full of exciting stuff. Frills and spills. Oh, I found. Here's the exciting news. I found my the very focus. Hey, feel a bit weird when I put them on. Got to get used to them. Got some ivory. Oh yeah, they're unpleasant. Yeah. It'd look much better on the elephant. It would. That's sad. Sue says, I've had those stumps about a year now. Um, It probably is about that, I think. Yeah, maybe more. Oh, well. Get them listed for Christmas? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. No rush. Guns wants to know, what was your jobs before eBay? Well, you'll be here all day if you listen to Lex's. Yeah, that's true. And, and same here, actually. I've done quite a few, but I've been doing eBay a long time now. I've done all sorts, I retail. Um, I was an airline pilot for a while. I was a stuntman. Um, I was a doctor for a bit, a lawyer for a bit. I was in that film, Catch Me If You Can. You remember I that? Think, I think the film you were in was Liar Liar. Oh, maybe. Um, none of this is true. None of this is true. None of this is real. Do I feel any different? I feel like I want a cake, if that's any... Uh, thing. It's coming off, it's fine, it's going all right. Um, I'm sleeping better. My bad leg isn't quite as bad. Absolutely. Those great things. Let's see. Tracy says she's been watching Ricky Lee for the eye candy aspect. Yeah, he's he's certainly uh, not unpleasant, that's for sure. <laughs> Nokio Panto. That was one of your previous jobs. <laughs> yeah, 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 all of this is completely true. Yeah. Josh, there's lots of lovely eye candy in the reselling world at the moment. We just need more muscular men about five foot nine and rich for him. Five foot nine is fairly shortish if you also want muscular, isn't it? I mean, obviously, like some kind of square is what I'm saying. He likes a good brick shithouse kind of bloke. Which is strange because he's built like a fucking pipe cleaner himself. Josh is a twink. He's a twink. I'm not sure what twink means. He's like, um, he's a young bit of fresh meat in the gay market. You know? He's, a twink. he's not really fresh. Well, no, but he looks, he looks like he might be a bit fresh, but we know he's not. We know that he's tainted. <laughs> Stained. <laughs> Slightly soiled. <laughs> Sweet corn. Oh, did Mummy grow that? Yeah. Yay, well done, Mummy. That looks good. It's about the only one that's Oh, good. there's one sweet corn. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, if you just eat one corn at a time, you can make it last all winter. Yeah, there we go. Yay. <laughs> oh, Victoria's got a question for you that's um, Etsy related. Lexus. Interesting. <laughs> um, what sort of post abroad? Do you put the postage charge on the listing? Yeah, so you choose 
like UK postage and then you put in whatever you want to charge for UK postage and then you can have like worldwide and then you put in whatever you want on that. So most things I send a large letter. So I send it all international tracked and signed. And I think I charge 13 pound as a standard like cost for that. So there you go. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that is all. Is, Josh thinks he wants a bloke who can throw in about and dominate, and then do you know what Josh would do? Josh would nag that bloke, and he would bitch at that bloke, and he would snipe at that bloke until that bloke knocked him out, and then he would go, "You've hurt me now." Yeah, that's, that's what you would do, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> and the poor guy would end up being the bullied one, and yeah. <laughs> It's better if you just stay single, Josh. Abitore is blaming the predictive text for your new name. Ah, that's okay. I blame Steve. Just cause. You blame Steve? Yeah. No, no real reason. Just you know, we can. Fair enough. Yeah. I think I've sorted all my jewellery now. <laughs> and have you found anything that's worth a million pounds? Not this week. But, you know, a couple of weeks ago I bought um, a little bag of costume jewellery for £2. And in it was a gold-coloured ring. It's not mm. gold-coloured. It's Yay! gold. A little bit so of gold. 33 pence. I Google image search, found it on a website in Australia, and on that website they were selling it for 800 Australian dollars. Oh, was that the Seven Wishes one? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Cool so, beans. So that was nice. So that was nice. So that was nice. <laughs> I bought some flower fairies plates, which I'm instantly regretting because now I've got a list of fuckers, pack them and post them. Yeah, that's the bastard, isn't it? I've got six. She charged me for seven. Oh, rude. The annoying thing was, it was, it was a volunteer in a charity shop. And, um, careful now. Yeah, I'm being very fucking careful now. I would say that <coughs> probably had. Oh, well done, Mummy. Mummy's Mommy, Mommy's fixed the typewriter. Oh, well done, Mummy. I would say that she probably had social difficulties. Is that the nicest way to put it? That was probably one of her, you know, one of the reasons that she was volunteering a charity shop rather than maybe being employed in the main sector is that she had social difficulties. I'm, I'm treading very fucking carefully, and yet some fucker will still be offended. Yes. Regardless of how careful and nice I try to be, someone will always be offended. Anyway, I would say that one of her issues was perhaps social social interactions. Mm -hmm. And so she was she was very kindly putting pieces of newspaper between the plates for me to pack them, which meant that they were bundled by the time she then told me the total. And I'd had it up in my head and I said to her, oh, that seems a bit too much. There were six plates. And she said, no, there were more than six. And I said, I'm fairly sure there were six. And she said, no, there was definitely more than six. And handed me the bundle and took my £20. And I thought, shall I stand here and unpack the bundle and prove that I am correct? Or shall I just go, do you know what? Today, Carly, you're donating an extra £2 to charity and that's fine. And yeah. so that's what I did. <laughs> donating yeah. an extra £2 rather than making it into a thing. No, Carly, I wouldn't have said it was learning disability. I would have said it was a social interaction issue that she had. Because um, from the conversations that I had had with her whilst I was browsing, her her she was quite with it. You know what I mean? She wasn't. She didn't have a learning disability in that way. You know, I, I just say that perhaps it was. I mean, like I said, some kind of social interaction issue. I'm. I'm. I like I said. But I don't know why I fucking bother because somebody will be offended no matter what I do. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Still says, Lex, please let us know when your auction is happening. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Do you mean, oh, I know what you mean. My two vases that I bought the other day. Yeah. It, I'll probably. Oh, you put them in the small one. Are you putting those on an eBay auction? 
Yeah, from um, it'll be like next Sunday probably because I've done this Sunday's auction lots already. Yeah. So it'll be for next Sunday. I'll do them. Yeah. Becca's in. She says she's offended. Yay! <laughs> But yeah, I just thought I'm not going to stand here and argue the point over two pound and prove that I am right and you are wrong and and you know and and make this into a big thing. I'll just donate two quid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not worth the hassle. No, <laughs> oh no, no. no Saul says no. The jewelry that I found, I don't know what he's on about now. He says the jewelry that Carla found. Oh, that auction. Oh, yes. I haven't told Carla yet, but it's not going to auction now. Um, because I don't know what we're talking about. I'm behind that that was going to go to an auction house. Oh, the handcuffs that you and I use in our sex games. <laughs> yeah, that one. yeah. No, um, they they said they misvalued it and that it's actually worth a lot less. And I'm like, uh, and do they still? Do you still want us to auction it? I'm like, not if you think it's worth less, because I know that I can get more. Hmm. So they were like, oh, we probably only value it at three to five hundred. And I'm like, well, for that, I'll keep it. Yeah. So I might just keep it. Because I love it. Do what you want. It's yours. <laughs> it belongs to you. Do what you want. Lisa said, at least Fence says I'm offended. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to be offended anyway. That's pretty much how people are when they watch me. They go, right, let's be offended now. Yeah. Oh, well. Somebody struggling with basic maths then. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. Not quite low. <laughs> Not right. So bless them for trying. Bless them. Yeah. In it. Stuff. Pretty things. Um, yeah, exactly. So the pink I had one with anything and I sold it on eBay. Yeah, because they don't always know shit, do they? I mean they should know always know shit but they don't always so you know i often don't know any shit oh no you know loads oh what i do know turns out to be shit I like me. Sorry. Plan, plan another fight dress it up for another fight i just think they're pretties it's just pretty i like them Mike and Anya say you should try another auction place with it. I might do at some point. But again, for now, I'm like, well, it's nice. It stays here for a little bit. I don't mind what you do. Oh. I could go to sleep quite easily. Oh, I'm definitely having a nap this afternoon. I had a three-hour sure. nap yesterday afternoon. I still went to bed by nine. I am, I am going to have some brunch and... And I'm going to lie on the sofa. What was I watching yesterday? Oh, I've started watching West Wing again from the start because I bloody love West Wing. And the exciting thing is that they're getting back together for a special. <laughs> so I want to watch it all. All like eight series. Is it eight series? Is it eight, seven or eight? Um, seven series. I'm going to watch all seven series and then hopefully I'll finish that by the time there's the next election. Bloody loves me an election. <laughs> Hi, Aid. They're accusing me of cheating on you, Aid. And she is. So. I'm not. I'm not cheating on him. I've, I've re remained loyal to Aid, honestly. Carla loves someone else. Carla I don't love someone else. I love Aid more than life itself. Really? Maybe not more than life itself. I mean, I wouldn't oh. actually die, but more, almost more than life itself. I love, I love Aid more than. Oh, what do I love Aid more than? Chicken nuggets. Yeah, I do love Aid more than chicken nuggets. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I've got to say, yeah. I probably love Aid more than chicken nuggets because I fucking eat them. I love Aid more than some cakes. Not all cakes. Some cakes. But some cakes. Yeah. <laughs> so he looks upset on his picture. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, that's Mike's picture. Sorry, Mike. Every time I click, I miss. There we go. He does look a bit upset on his picture. Sorry, Aid. <laughs> yeah, he's going. Hmm. <laughs> no, Sue, not more than sponge cake, more than some cakes. <laughs> more than no, no of those sponge cakes that Joan sent me because they were the, that was the best cake in the world, and I really want one. Ah. Wonder how many calories the entire cake is. I could just have it for a day's food. You could, but don't. I bet it's lots. I bet it's like 500 calories a slice. Oh, at least. I'm going to find out now. Um, They've got their nutritional info on their website. Yeah. Go away. Um, someone's asking about um, Claire James. I've got some wooden stamps for crafters about 30 of them. Bundle them. If they've been used, like because there's there's billions of them, billions of them, and people get rid of them because they they take up you know crafting, card making, and stuff, and they buy all this this stuff, and then they get bored, and then they've just got tons of it, so they're just like get rid. So bundle. They're not really worth that much on their own. Um, Karen, don't even start. That's all I'm going to say, okay? Get up, go take the dog for a walk, because you have to. It was Joan's fault. It was. <laughs> but I was extremely, it was the best cake I'd ever had in my life. It was a bloody good cake. <laughs> <laughs> There, there are no, there's no nutritional in info on their website. So, out of sorts is asking how to contact me for bundles. I have had during the course of this, during the course of this live stream, I have had three messages, and that may use up what I've got available. By all means, send me a message through Facebook. I am Carla Jenkins on Facebook, or through Instagram where I am Tizer two thousand one T Y Z E R two thousand one. But I will have to fulfil the three people who have contacted me first before I know if I've got enough left. But if you miss out this time, there'll probably be some more in a few weeks. So, um, yeah, that's that's where that that's where I am with that. <laughs> and then Becca likes to contradict me and say that she sold hundreds of wooden crafts, then both new and used, and depending on the brand and condition, they may sell on their own. So listen to Becca because Becca knows more. Is that Becca's voice you're doing? No, obviously not. <laughs> it was Becca's voice. It would be like. Fuck it. No, I can't do it. I can't do Becca's voice. Man, <laughs> like Wigan. I can't I can't do Wigan. No, I can't do Wigan. It's that sort of round there ish. We've proven that I can't do any any accents anywhere. So um, yes, I have my hair cut on Monday, Lisa. Thank you for thank you for noticing. I'm not overly fond of the fringe. She gave me a choppy fringe. I'm struggling with choppy fringe, but Laney, they are amazing. That it is this website. Hang on. It's called, it's literally called sponge.co.uk. Sponge.co.uk. They are immense. Joan is some kind of nasty, evil person who sends out brilliant cakes to people and makes them want more. I think Joan might actually be like on commission from Sponge because, you know, that like kind of I'll send you one and then that, that'll get you hooked. You know, like drug dealers do. Yeah. Yeah. No, we're not allowed to joke about crack. Someone told me about I've had the complaints about crack jokes on my channel. Someone told me off about it the other day, and they're like, you shouldn't make jokes about crack. It's like, okay, sorry, do you want to leave a, a list below of things that I can't talk about? The thing is, you either get us or you don't. So yeah. we are, our, our humour, we, we have what is what used to be called black humour, although perhaps it isn't anymore. Perhaps dark. there's a new name for it. Dark humour, whatever, yeah. So... I, we make inappropriate jokes. That doesn't mean that we hold inappropriate views. Yeah, absolutely. That's not how that works. So making jokes about crack doesn't mean that we actually think it's fine for everybody to be on crack. That's not how it works. It It's who we are. It's how we joke. And if you don't like it, then nobody brings you in on a bus and makes you watch. You know? This um, isn't too <laughs> I am... 
pretty much at my limit with people going, I'm unsubscribing because you said so and so. I don't care if you're unsubscribing because of something I said. You don't need to let me know. And this is going to turn into a rant now. It's going to turn into a rant. If you're un unsubscribing, you just do it. You don't yeah. announce your departure. As we've said before, this is not an airport. You do not need to announce your departure. If you yeah. are subscribing because something one of us said has offended you, that's okay. That's your choice. We don't make you come and watch. I'm just watching the numbers plummet at the top of the screen. 183, 182, 180, 175, 160, 140. <laughs> this has been a party political broadcast by the Carla Party. <laughs> but I'm just, you know, it's just, I believe that fundamentally I'm a decent person. You I are. know that I don't go out of my way to hurt anyone, that I do go out of my way to help people, that I am essentially kind natured and that I hold strong beliefs about right and wrong and I try and stick within those beliefs. Absolutely. And that essentially makes me as decent a human being as I am able to be. And believe me, there's some fucking knuts out there who are a lot worse than me. So if you are spending your time watching my channel so you can tell me I'm a knut, you are wasting your time because I won't believe you. And I would say the same for Le Lex. Where are you? You're there. I would say the same for Lex. <laughs> oh, I've got all red in the face. Oh. <laughs> and then also, if you want to, uh, you know, make comments about stuff on, you know, websites and things and, you know, have a little bit of a tittle tattle about stuff, um, I would, I would, gateway sponge. <laughs> <laughs> Start on the petty fours and walk. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'd be a French fancy. <gasps> yeah. Sorry, you were saying. But no, if you if you want to, um, you know, go and write about things on a on a little website and have a you know a little rant in that way, I would maybe click on your own username and see what you have written in the past about other people and the amount of time you spend on this website. Um, you know. Uh, and the amount of time that you spend watching This Morning and Loose Women and reading gossip columns and stuff. I think that's, maybe... Karen, that's Karen. Don't be mean to Karen. <laughs> I know, but I, I would maybe consider leaving your house a little bit more and maybe getting some friends and a bit of a life. And that is actually directed at a person in particular. Okay. Not Karen. Not Karen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> just to say. Yeah. If you have signed up to a website specifically for the purpose of saying unpleasant things about other people, you want to have a quiet look at yourself when you get into bed at night. Have a quiet look at yourself and go, is that who I am? Is that who I am? And that's that's it. That's all I've got to say on the subject. Yeah. Yeah. And definitely, for God's sakes, love, get out more, you know, get some friends. Becca says this sounds awfully specific. <laughs> it, is. it is extremely specific about one person in particular. Karen's going, it's not me. It's not Karen. It's really it's not. Not. Karen. <laughs> not Karen. It's not Karen. We'd tell you if it was you, Karen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> I know, takes a go, it's me! <laughs> but <laughs> no, we we like that again. It's the gallows humour, isn't it? Yeah. We share the same gallows humour. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, this, this has gone veering off round a corner that we didn't know we were going round, didn't it? Well, it was just the, you know, I don't like being told what I can and can't make jokes about. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, I resent people telling me that they're unsubscribing from my channel because there's something somebody said in my chat as though they think I should be policing what you guys are saying, as though I should be going through the chat and going, you can't say that. That's not correct. You're not allowed to say that. I don't care what you guys think. You know, what you, that, what, what, what's said in the chat is what's said in the chat. And I resent people going, I'm unsubscribing because somebody in your chat said that and you didn't deal with it. Okay. To the pit. Carl says she's got to watch Mon Mon Monty. He's got his legs crossed. Poor Monty's yeah. hopping up and down by the front door like that. Poor Monty. <laughs> it's a nice long walk, yeah. See you later, Karen. <laughs> Captain says, keep it up. I've had two ka-ching sales during the rant. Is that what, what does it? If I rant, do people get ka-chings? Oh, I haven't. 
Don't work for me. Um, right, if you just, if you message um, Sue Bad Wolf, she'll put you on the troll training course. And before you know it, you'll be, you'll be just, yeah. you'll be fab. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's a good one. What you think about me is none of my business. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, none of the people in the chat are the people to whom we are currently referring. No. Having said that, you might be. You might be a two-faced little twat who sits there in the chat every Sunday chatting nicely and then fucks off and, and throws shade elsewhere. You might be. Ooh, but it's hard to have another quiet word with yourself. Spill it, spilling the tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so so is now officially troll trainer. No, do you know what? <laughs> you should do one of those like um do like do like a course, you know, that you can sell and then like your videos will pop up before our YouTube videos. <laughs> like, like the Amazon sellers ones, like Hey, join my course and be a professional troll. <laughs> you, have to, you have to do one of those adverts that, that come before the YouTube videos where you know, the woman goes, stop doing what you're doing. You're like, oh, I fucking know. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, she's fierce. That is one fierce yeah. woman. I don't even know. I don't even know what she's selling because after she's finished yelling, sell, stop at me. I'm like, go away. Go away. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just scared of her. Yeah. <laughs> Stall says, I'll admit it, I'm the compulsive thumbs downer. You are not alone. We know that. You're we not alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The, well, only, the only thumbs downer, right, that I actually think deserves a slap is whoever it is that thumbs down on Auntie Sue's. Yeah, whoever that is, we will come and we will find you. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. You don't thumbs down Auntie Sue. You do not thumbs down Auntie Sue. You just don't. Sash is saying, Sash <laughs> says, Hi Sash, nice to see you by the way. Some will probably moan that I've just said fuck in my previous comment, but I can't find your previous comments, so maybe it didn't get through the, um, maybe somebody oh, moderated you. <laughs> yeah. Maybe someone got offended. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah, everybody say love Auntie Sue. Yeah. She's adorable. <laughs> Dawn says, I'm here alone, laugh out loud like a loony. What <laughs> <laughs> thin walls? Your neighbours would be like, oh, she's watching something good on the telly. And no, it's, it's ours ranting. Yeah. Or they could be going, oh, she must be watching that Carla Jenkins. Sean Dempsey says, you two aren't plumbed in right. <laughs> <Run in. laughs> oh, thank you. Right, let's give Becca a plug, shall we? Becca's Bookshelves is a, is a fairly newish channel, isn't it, Becca? Was that fair to say? Bit niche. Bit niche. Yeah, bit niche. She, um, she, every, she's, she's doing, she's doing, uh, she's, it's a book. It, I, I can't speak. Can you stop rubbing that so frantically? <laughs> it really threw me off me. <sighs> Becca's Bookshelves, go and sub. She's doing videos about books. This is all I can manage with Lex having a quick wank in the background. <laughs> go and sub to Becca. She needs more, more, more subs. Off you go. There's good. There, there's good people. I'm getting very, very um, Audrey about you here, aren't I? <laughs> Lady says I like the thumbs down. I always think I've annoyed someone so much they had to react. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> and, uh, apparently you've nearly ke killed Jason Kelly says Jason nearly choked <laughs> oh, <laughs> This has been nearly an hour and a half I was saying goodbye at the, at the one hour point And then we went off oh, down yeah, I want to go have some food I'm starving. Down Rat Lane and, and here we still are Starving to Everyone who is still watching There are 185 people currently oh. watching To so everyone Please so accept our apologies for whatever the fuck this is on a Sunday morning. Sorry. I don't even know what it is anymore. It's a sort of car boot haul mixed with I don't know what. I'm not blushing, Lisa. I'm just getting overheated. I'm not blushing. I'm just hot now where I've had a rant and I've raised my blood pressure. <laughs> Stall says the haul finished an hour ago. He's right, it did. <laughs> Half hour haul plus one hour of us 
generally talking shite. Yay! Yes. Yeah, <sighs> yeah. And oh, yeah. She's oh. missed Z ranting about eBay thieves for this crap. And never mind, you go back and watch that. I'm sure he's got a good old rant going as well because he gets a good rant when he wants to. He does, doesn't he? Good old right. Z. To the 107 people have just shot off when they heard that Z's having a rant as well. To the 178 of you still watching, thank you so much for joining us. We've enjoyed it. I don't know whether you have. Um, remember to do a thumb up or down or in or out and shake it all about or something like that. Um. <laughs> Carla was piss poor today. Carla. My whole was piss poor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jones, Jones, go on. <laughs> Cleanse with fire. Right. We're off. Everybody have a lovely Sunday. Everybody have a good week. Um, I don't know what's happening. Uh, waffle on Tuesday. Am I still fat on Thursday? There's another video that is in the editing pipeline, but I keep forgetting to finish it. So that'll come out at some point. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. We love spending time with you on a Sunday morning. Um, I really need a wee. Awkward wave. Bye. Bye, Bye now. Bye.